In this video, we will explain what is covered in IT Fundamental V1.0 visually. In terms of you working in IT, how can this one course help you? And then how do you actually move on to different advanced courses in the same program? So again, a reminder, this is your first course in IT support program where you are going to be applying for IT support level positions. So to understand this concept of what does it cover, let's go ahead and open this diagram. You can see this diagram is representing a very basic overall uh, kind of like a company, right? So this is a company, you're basically going inside this company and they're actually asking for a help desk professional that they're hiring, There's, there's going, they're going to be hiring this professional and they're saying we need an IT support professional. They can call you anything. They can call you help desk, IT support, desktop support, user support technician, IT specialist, whatever they want to call you, but their main mindset and their goal is for someone to be coming into this company and actually managing this type of uh, things in this company. So you may be looking at this image and you're like, okay, what about those other things? Because, you know, I know for sure that I'm going to be working on VPN with the users. I'm going to be working with Active Directory for users, Office 365 for users. So that's something beyond this course right that that is where i want to grab your focus and say don't worry about those things they are going to come later on in this program because it has to be done in a proper way so the first thing i want to tell people is that your main focus over here is what your main focus is to actually right here this is where you're you're going to be stuck in the beginning before you even knock the door, before you even say that, look, I'm available for this job, you guys are offering this job, you got to understand some certain things that we know and we have spent so many years in this career. So we know by experience, we have been through this stuff. So that understanding in the first phase of this course is very, very important because it is going to make sure that next time when you are going inside to these things and trying to learn technology there are certain things that we have learned the hard way so now you will need to be investing time in that phase one to not skip any videos so then you learn it the smart way so let's go to the course and i'm going to show you what this first phase represents so we are right here you're trying to understand even before going and knocking that door, you need to understand what are companies, what are different type of roles, what are certain type of you know mindset do I have do need to have to learn these things. So let's go ahead and open the course. So the first few module in our IT fundamental course talks about this whole transition period. This is where a lot of people have questions, career related questions, where they are stuck then. Someone is a student, someone is transitioning, and there's a lot of questions. Should I do this? Should I should I go this way or that way? At the end, everybody comes to a same point, but someone will have to explain that putting ourselves in your shoes type of explanation. So that's what you see in this first module where we explain things. And then you will see some examples because a lot of times people start something and they don't expect it like okay that's not what i want or maybe they'll say that is exactly what i want so then the motivation for learning is very high when you already know the goal or the outcome and you're not doing a shallow learning you're actually doing a deep learning which you really get into something and you see the outcome out of it once you understand the first module and those basic questions are answered and you look at these real world videos to to really decide this is exactly what I'm going to be doing, then it's time for you to join the community. Because remember, this platform is not just videos and labs and just us. There's actually a pretty big community behind this. We have a YouTube community, we have a Discord community. Discord community is very powerful because you can join and you can see other people just like you and they're actually working with each other they're helping each other and you get to learn even more things in a real world environment live people are talking to each other so definitely then watch this video and join the community so this should be your practical step if you're looking at this course right now and you're like okay let me i finished this first video now your first practical approach should be getting into the community and it's and doing an introduction about yourself so other people can know about you after that we will explain and keep explaining 
Then going a little bit deeper inside this learning uh, of technology and how do you become an IT support professional. And that is where then we go into specifically talking about what kind of infrastructure you will be working on. And then this is the video that I think everyone should watch. Now, a lot of time when you start working in a company, you, everything is gray, like, you know, you don't have too much knowledge. And then you start thinking yourself that how did they connect it, everything together? It doesn't make any sense in the beginning. So, and it's not easy for someone to break the whole environment for you and show it to you. No one's going to actually do that. The only way they're going to do this, if you're going to be learning this from different certification, and again, we go back to confusion. So this is where I think this video is very, very good. If you watch these five videos all together, what it does, it explains how a network engineer builds a networking. Then it explains a soft uh, a systems administrator, how do they uh, set up a server? Then they explain how virtualization play a big role in that whole setup. So even though you're not learning about these technology, but actually someone is doing an overview to you to visually show you, practically show you how things are connected. And at the end, this is where you come to see yourself with systems administrator to set up a help this account. How did they set up your account now? You see, if you watch this five videos, I feel like you're going to have a great overview, practical overview of the whole environment like this. And then you say, okay, now I know the top area. I know how it works and I don't need to really worry about it because that's not my area. But hey, I'm going to come back to you guys again. But now I need to focus right here and whatever it's the job that is provided in between with other, with other things, basic administration of the other things that is going to be in future. So now things are becoming more clear and now you need to focus into more deep learning into that specific area that we have mentioned. You want to be focusing in this area so then you can get that first job easily. So now what do I mean by this? Let's go back to your course and we'll discuss how now you need to focus into this learning. The first thing is to mental preparation. You have to now think like an IT professional. You cannot be thinking like a normal user anymore because there's a big difference when you learn technology. There are things that you need to consider and you have to accept some changes and that's where it's going to require patience. This video will talk about that. After that, of course, now we're ready to learn things. We're, learn, we're learning things from basics. And we have added some good free videos from YouTube which have visualization. The reason we added these videos is that we looked at these videos, we do the research for you, and we think that based on the visual lecture that you know the instructors are showing over here are way better than us just talking about it. So this is going to break things down for you before you start doing practical learning. So now when it's time to actually start learning into that specific area, everything is clear to you now. You're not focused and your target is that first initial phase of learning technology and that starts with our CompTIA A plus course that we provide to our members. Now, of course, you can take your A plus from any other places. You can even use some free uh, resources like professormesser.com. You can do that if you're still following a free, uh, you know, method. But if you are a premium or plus member, then you have this capability from JSS. So what happens in this is that in this course, basically, we are going to give you a different platform access. It's a full course, and in that, you're going to learn about things that we are not teaching. For example, a lot of theory behind, you know, uh, how do you do troubleshooting? There's a lot of theory. If it's about hardware, printer, different type of printers, different type of devices, you know, different type of hardware that's out there. We don't teach that in this course because we feel like that is something you can learn. And then once you go to the work, you actually don't work too much on certain areas that is a lot of theoretical uh, things. So then you focus a lot in what we want you to focus for job skills. So how does it work? You will get an access on the day you become plus or a premium member. You will log in with your email and password that is given to you in your email. This is not your job skills share username and password. You can log into any other courses by going to the portal page. This means you can just go there and and take any course. But if you're actually following this program and you're new, I highly recommend that uh, do not lose your track. Uh, into other courses because it's too many courses uh, for you. But 
stick to this course and we give you this direct link so if you already logged in i already did that by using my email and password that is given to me in the email i can come over here and now i can finish this it professional soft skills safety components and these are all lectures with some demo so it's a great course an instructor is actually showing some hardware skills through the video so i think this is definitely a must for someone who is brand new because you do need this type of knowledge to understand something more in detail you're trying to go into an operating system level after this in this your in your sessions so it's important for you to know uh, what it, what else is out there and how technology works or how other devices that connects and use that operating system so you have to know that knowledge then after that of course you have some tips videos right here and that's where now it gets hands-on so for our premium members then we give you access to the practice lab which is also a CompTIA A plus course and if you click on it, it there's going to be a video and that video will show you how to use the lab why do you why do you need this type of access and how is it going to help you is an example of how you can put it on your resume so here you have this information that is very important if you need a support there's a support available you have to use this email and you, have, you can also send a ticket inside the practice lab so here we provide you the link as well this access is on your portal so if you go back to the dashboard there's actually a button and that button if you click on it labs details you're going to see your username and password for this access so that's where then you have that practical access which i'm going to show you right now so here i logged into my access as a premium member you have a lot of access again just like our idea is that we are going to give you everything because you may land a job into some places that they may have more than a plus type of uh, you know skills that are going to be required so as a member as a skills member in this platform you can jump into anything then but if you're using a program then you you have to follow this lab only so if you click on it you can see this is a comtia specific lab everything is basics and this talks about operating system mostly so now you're coming back to this area where your focus is getting too deep and very much technical before you learn the things in that comtia plus course so you learned about the printers devices different things different way of troubleshooting so now you know the overall picture in this area your whole focus was in this and now you're going even more deeper into an operating system level practical learning so this is what we call getting very very deep into learning and that's where you retain a lot of information and then you can use it utilize it when you go out in the market so how can you learn this practically as a premium member you have this access very powerful access which is step-by-step -step guide and you have real systems on the right side so you're going to click on the lab guide and now introduction everything is given to you what is going to be the outcome all that information is given to you and when you click next door here your whole lab topology the systems that are included in this lab and then you click on next these are not virtual machines they are not simulation these are actual real systems so the power of this is that since it's a real systems you can always learn something else active directory different things that are part of this whole domain there are linux machines so there's so much you can learn from it but of course i want i would definitely recommend a beginner to just stick to the task that is given to you right here just follow exactly the same steps so you can achieve something out of it now as a JSS member, we also give you a pretty powerful uh, access to the videos. So if you come over here, the module one, this is where the video for the lab will start. And that's where an instructor also can give you a lecture. So here's a lecture. There's why do you need this lab? And then there's an introductory lecture. And then, of course, an instructor will start the video on that. So if you are if you are a learner who like visual first and then do the lab, of course, we do not make every single lab course in practice lab. That's impossible. So we will only make the things that we think is most accurate and in demand. And then we have those labs for you. So here you could just come over here and let's say you want to keep this video uh, learning first and then come back to lab. You can do that. You can watch this video first and then do the step by step like exercise and then do the exercise lab over here. You can do that. Open two tabs, open two monitors whatever works for you i think this is the best way if you're doing a documentation type of learning i think that's also a pretty great way for someone to learn things let me just try it myself first by watching the document 
yes it's going to be stressful a little bit of stressful if you are dealing with anything in it i think you cannot go beyond this there's there's a there's documentation given to you in a real world there's going to be always you're going to come across that there will be no documentation or documentation will not be something that you can follow it step by step they're going to have a lot of things that they, they think that you know the basics so here that's not the case you have step by step documentation but again these are real system you have to be patient and that's where you have to go back to the course where it says mentally prepare yourself that exactly what we talk about that yes you're going to be dealing with a real system so if you want to become a real it pro you have to learn how to be patient with different type of learning and if you want to get practical that is the only way to learn so once you then finish this whole practice right here then it gets to specific detail of managing this operating system because your main job is around this area then that's where you're getting in you're opening a system people are calling you they can access something so you got to know that basic you got to know how this user is added can i get to this uh, operating system at the local level at the domain level what is this operating system because that's where everything is connected back to these different type of services and if you don't know this basics then you really can't understand the things above this level and that first course is why we have it called fundamental for skills we, this is not a your your normal fundamental of what is a computer or what is you know lan or wan it is, it's actually a fundamental of skills so it's still a very detailed course for someone who is brand new so that's why that comptia a plus course that i mentioned before is super important if you're extremely new to this stuff so then everything will make sense by the end of this course you're going to come out of it very knowledgeable and you will be able to tackle anything after that because then after that we're going to target the top level things and that's where you're going to become a proper and complete it pro where you can compete with other people with experience then at the end of this course then you will perform a project you have a skills test and you have a final project and once you do that you will get a certificate from us and we'll tell you exactly what course to take next you'll click on this next course to take and that's it after that you will have a very good command or this area and then we'll move you towards in this area how to become more expert level or try to become more level two type of skills or even a junior sysadmin level skill so then you're you're applying for jobs or even if you're working currently right now you will have ability to say that i am ready to move up because i am trained like that my mindset is like that my mindset is trained to actually take on security take on networking take on anything that is in front of me i am ready for it because that's how my mind works now if you don't have that mindset that's where people get locked down into the help desk world and that's where things gets little you know uh, people get a little disappointed with i can't move up in this career that's because you are trained like that your mind is set like that you have to really change that mindset if you have any questions after this let us know we will still help you we can do one-on-one -on -one with you contact us send us an email send us a chat send us a voice chat we will still help you and see where you are getting stuck or maybe where do you need help after this thank you so much